Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Dual Screens Podcast. I am one of your hosts, Stephen Fontana, and with me are, it's, it's a literal gaggle of people. But first, I want to introduce you to the co-host with the mo-host. That's right. He is the most host. Ho. You should have said with the ho-most. Ah, that, that would have been so good. But you know what, Andy? That still, still, you know what I mean? I know, Listen, like, allow it. I well, you will, but you know, yeah, you know how it is. It. Anyway, that's Andy Asimakis. How are you, Andy? I'm eating a Japanese candy that's essentially um, sweet mm. condensed milk in a little uh -huh. form. Uh huh. I'm just popping while candy. while in you're why so in case you in, in case our guests didn't know, it's hanging out back there. That's how professional we are. He is Thank having you. a chewing or or hard candy of but some can kind. Tell? Can you tell? I could tell. I could tell before the show started. So we'll right, see. The no, first time I hear candy clacking against your teeth, I am I going can, to mute your microphone. Just, the mute's right there. I can just no. I'm going to mute just... it. I'm just going to mute you for the whole show. <laughs> That's what's going right to happen. There. Right there. You even noticed. I didn't even notice. You're right. Ladies and gentlemen, joining us this week, <laughs> we have Jeremiah Bramble. We have Soma P Putera. We have Ayuni. And they are all of Stairway Games, the developers of Coral Island, a reimagined farm sim game inspired by the classics. Welcome to the show, everybody. How are we doing? Everybody talk at once. Fantastic. <laughs> How are you guys? We're doing great. We're doing great. Is, this is nice. This is going to be a good sexy, one. Full house it's a people. beautiful, beautiful. It's nice yeah. to have. The, know, it, it feels good. This is this is this is the max. Otherwise, you know, we our brains would not be able to handle it. But yeah, folks, speaking of brains handling things, in case your brain hasn't handled it or comprehended it so far, this is the Dual Screens Podcast, the world's number one indie developer interview podcast, probably. Everyone in the gaming industry, be it a programmer, an artist, a voice actor, a a PR person, whoever the hell it is, they all have a story to tell. And this is their platform to do so. The show posts each and every Friday on your, on your listening device anywhere, literally anywhere. And of course, in video form on youtube.com slash dual screens TV. But enough of that. All right. Enough of the rigmarole. We're not going to, we, we have, we have business to get down to team team at stairway. I'm going to kick this over to Andy for, for our ceremonial Lead off question of the show, Andy. Take it away, my friend. Thank you, Stephen. You're so welcome. I yeah, as always. So I went through the Kickstarter a bit before the show started. Yes. I went through your about page on the old internet, and the question that comes to mind is, how soon should I quit my job? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because if I'm going to go back to Time Suck Farm, <laughs> this, is, this is legit Time Suck Farm. Mm -hmm. I can't have a thing like a job. To weigh no. me down. So no. yeah, I agree. Should I quit like a year from now? Or should I just quit tomorrow to prepare myself for when the game comes out and I like, give my life to it wholly? <laughs> what what should I do? Give me some advice here. <laughs> Sound career advice. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, I would say that that it would be in your best interest to quit. Maybe. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, 18 months from now, you know. Okay. Mm. Okay. Mm, 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 mm. Okay. So, so, so maybe not okay. 12 months from now. Okay. Let okay. The game release into early access. Let it sure. simmer. For let it simmer. Minute. Got it. And yeah. then, you know, uh, I'm sure 18 months from now, we'll, we'll have a real good product worthy of you, uh, uh, quitting Good. your job so. <laughs> Good, and mass, a little bit of savings in that time then yeah it's and not. remember andy nobody here could be held responsible for your career choices you understand this is not no. this is not official financial advice at all okay just we want to make sure that that's actually said and recorded so I'm pretty sure i was just told to quit my job in i'm half. that's what i'm saying probably that's, i should say probably. You should, probably right so probably probably yeah. got so, it so I, I think i need to add that as a disclaimer <laughs> <laughs> all right so for those who don't know what coral island is why don't we give the uh the old ele elevator bridge who, who could take that and tell our listeners what coral island is Yeah, I just I just want to add that um, this is our first podcast as a team, so it's we're okay. popping our cherry here. So you know, beautiful. Thank you for that. Um, and so figuring out who's going to answer. What I have an idea. I have an idea. 
Mm-hmm. I don't know. I don't know everybody's role. So why don't we go around and introduce mm-hmm. everybody and yes. we'll figure out what everybody's role is so that we could tailor these questions to the roles. Because you know what? We, we rare, very rarely have three people on one show. So it's going to be a learning experience for everybody. So why don't we start with Jeremiah? Jeremiah, who are you to the team? Uh, what's your role? And, you know, all that fun stuff. Okay. Hi, everyone. Um, you can just call me Jeremy. Jeremy. Um, I am one of the co-founders of Stairway Games. And um, on Coral Island, my role is game director. Nice. Ayuni. So my name is Ayuni, and I'm the creative director. Um, yeah, I guess. Creative so, director. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. Excellent. Very, 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 very good. And Soma. Yeah, I'm Soma. I am co-founder and in Coral Island, I'm game producer. Producer. Okay. So we keeping things in check. Keeping things in check. Yes. Yeah, so, so I was going to ask. So we have, we have the, 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 uh, the producer. And so the, we have the game director and creative director. What are the differences in those positions? You want to take that one, Ayuni? Oh, sure. Um, Well, from my end as a creative director, I just, um, I I would be the one, well, along with these two folks, right, Um, who's responsible for like the world building and making sure that the game ties together, uh, you know, on the high level um, stuff. Mm -hmm. Whereas um, Jeremy would be probably the one that would execute the game in our vision got it so so then i guess in in that then ayuni i think you might be the best person to answer this question what is coral island Mm -hmm. um coral island is i want to say that it's the um traditional farming game so that was our initial um idea and then we just build up on it um we added more stuff um, into the game, like the diving, um, and then, um, so is there more, is it more of a, uh, story based, is it, is it a farming game, but with more story, more, more, uh, maybe some role play elements? What, what, what's the moment to moment gameplay here? Uh, uh, Jeremy, maybe you can answer that one. Yeah, sure. And, and maybe to, uh, to expand a bit on what, um, you know, Ayuni was saying, the short answer is, you know, Coral Island is a farm sim game, you know, so, so for, for the viewers out there, that's it, you know, is that, that's sure. really the short answer. But I'd say the, the, the longer answer is that, um, uh, you know, we grew up, I mean, Indonesians uh, loved Harvest Moon, you know, hmm. like as, as a country, um, I mean, everyone's kind of played Harvest Moon back to nature here. So it's, it's kind of ingrained, you know, in us. So, um, and then obviously Stardew Valley came along and really like, like uh, pushed the genre forward. And um, these two games, I think, have been pivotal um, as inspirations for Coral Island. Um, and, um, the reason why we decided, or, or I'd say, uh, why why did we end up developing Coral Island is because there were um, elements, you know, or things that we wanted to see in a farm sim game that that just didn't, like like didn't exist, you know. One of which having characters, you know, that um, kind of look like Disney characters. I, and I have nothing against like an anime aesthetic because you know I actually do enjoy anime myself. But it was like, hey, it's like, it's like, why isn't there a farm sim game that that has characters that look like Disney? Um, I think extending on that is, um, you know, we we our studio is made up of um, you know local talent, and um, uh, we wanted to see more characters that that look like us, you know. So like representation was like a, a super important factor. And um, and sorry. So again, this is the long answer. I sure. Warned you. That's why you're here. <laughs> yeah, sorry. And then uh, the the other part to that was, um, <clears throat> you know, we wish there was a game that uh, tackled some of these environmental awareness issues that we find important. And the one that we're 
you know, trying to incorporate into the game is um, coral, right? And hence the name Coral Island. Uh, because living in Indonesia, you know, like uh, what people call pollution in a, like a first world country or like even the U.S., it like pales in comparison, mm. you know, mm. to what to, to what pollution is like in, in Indonesia. So um, all those things, all this is to say that we wanted to make a farm sim game that that kind of pushes the genres forward, um, involve all those elements and uh, feature mermaids, you know, because why not? Hell yeah. Everybody loves mermaids. My daughter's all about the mermaids right now, or she calls them mermaids. Mm. She she loves her mermaids. Andy? You know, it's funny. I was browsing uh, the... the 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 bang options that you have in this game the uh, the mm. romance <laughs> options if you were and I did, get, I did get a distinct Disney vibe from the design like mm. you can see it's very clear as day mm. these are plucked from like a Disney movie like from back in the, the day the imagination so why yeah. why Disney well uh well personally I I think uh, you know growing up watching Disney's right. Uh, it is something that we do want to see more in game. Uh, we do see a lot of anime style farming game, and I mean, why not, right? I mean, I, I'm I'm with you on that. Like, f there was something about it, it. It it almost tickles the same uh, part of the brain that when Cuphead was announced, and it had that mm -hmm. that classic 30s and 40s style cartoon that like you would watch late night when you're a little bit sick and then like all those Betty Boop and like Popeye and like all those older stuff would come on, on TV and you kind of just get reminded of that. And like seeing something that's very disney is going to instantly bring us 30 plus year olds back to, you know, the late eighties and early nineties where it started to really come around again with your little mermaid, your Aladdin's, your, you know, your Pocahontas and all that and Hercules and, you know, all that kind of, lion king and whatnot um so yeah i mean i i think yeah exactly why not is a is a very good answer to that um did you have difficulty like finding people to nail that art style because like there are people that mimic the disney art style right like it, it is its own school almost like you you see artists that practice that on purpose was it easy or hard for you to find the artists to actually both draw this but also animate it in a very specific way because if you have disney characters that aren't exactly animated like disney characters it's going to look a little weird so how, how, what was that approach like maybe that's okay, a producer yeah, I, question i don't know oh, i don't know so do you want to take it or, or should i take it oh, sure sure I think we're quite lucky when we're looking um, on, like we, we were searching for talent, especially on art station, and we found this artist, and his name is Kate Jaya. And when we open his page, it's like, oh, okay, like that's what he does, you know. And and from that point on, we approach him. <clears throat> it's not easy. He is he's, he's, he's very busy, but eventually he, he is interested and. <clears throat> and likes our vision and ends up and ends up joining the project. Mm -hmm. But uh, David really specialized in this style. So this is like his his wheelhouse. Nice. And I think after that everything like at least from the the, 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 the art style point of view, the part is uh, pretty much set. <clears throat> Maybe to add to what Soma said, um like nailing it on the 2D because David is such a talented artist was like, mm. okay, he, he had no problems, you know? It was like, like okay, Disney characters, yeah, I, I can do that. And then trying to kind of, you know, uh, translate that into the 3D space, okay, that, that's an entirely that's an different entire headache. Thing. You know, that's, that's mm. been a constant struggle, you know, for us. So, um, yeah, <laughs> just, just to add to that. I do want to take a slight pivot here because uh, this game was funded on Kickstarter in 36 hours and is raised close to, you know, $1.6 million. Oh, we almost have a whole yacht right there, Andy. Um, yeah. What's that feeling like? <laughs> uh when you're when you're when you're counting all those fat stacks what's uh, <laughs> what uh, what goes through your minds at night like so we could not make this game and just buy a bunch of shit or <laughs> okay 
Yeah, I mean, uh, like, you want to go or me? Yeah, I can go. I mean, um, the the well, first thing it was not what what we anticipated at all. So it was just like, wow. And really, the the, the biggest question was like, how? <laughs> like, like how did we get here? You know, that's that's kind of the the biggest thing. And um, is it all of Indonesia funding this game? Is that where the money is coming from primarily? <laughs> all of Indonesia. <laughs> No, we can't like... reveal our sources. <laughs> <We're> sorry. <laughs> no, it's actually in the community, right? Yeah. Uh, mm. on the yeah, it was, it was the U.S. and, and the U.K. Really. Oh yeah, yeah. mostly U.S. and Europe. Yeah. I mean, this looks amazing. So of course, it's gotten support from all over the place. But seeing it funded so quickly and such a huge response, mm. there's other games that are like this on Kickstarter with a similar vibe. But this looks. Mm. There's so many things going on in this game. The systems, the the romancing options, the farming. There's battling in caves. You can, there's skill trees. There's, there's a lot, a lot of stuff going it on. Is. It, is. it is. And it's crazy. Did... I think one of the things that we all felt, you know, um, it's like we, we had, you know, expectations going in. Mm -hmm. Okay, are we confident this game is going to get funded on Kickstarter? It was like, yes, right? Or else we wouldn't have done it. So modest. <laughs> yeah, well, and then there was like, okay, like how much does it need to sell? I mean, how much does it need to fundraise so like our egos like don't get hurt, you know? And then there was like, okay, what at what amount do we, you know, want it to hit so we can pursue some stretch goals? Mm -hmm. And then for it to do, you know, what, what it's done, I think there's been a lot of imposter syndrome, you know. Mm -hmm. it's like, mm -hmm. you know <laughs> do, do we deserve this? You know, like, uh, like yeah. our community, you know, has just been, you know, so wholesome and, and supporting mm -hmm. of us. Just the other day, actually, they they made us, you know, like um, like like 700 cards, you know, just just telling us that they were looking forward to the game. Oh my god! You know, what it meant to to feel like like they were represented so um yeah there's a lot of imposter syndrome for sure <laughs> like how did, how did you how do you keep that in check though like so i mean this is obviously this isn't you know something people experience every day to to have something like this be validated so quickly like your your vision and your goals and your 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 product the thing you've been working on has been validated that's it it's it's done people believe in it and they're and they're they're putting hard earned money in the middle of a pa global pandemic which i know is redundant but a pandemic they're putting their money towards this thing so i get the whole imposter thing but you know it's got to feel good to have all that validated no well i well yeah i guess uh, because you know, going into making this game, right, we do have a goal for the more representation and stuff like that. And I, I, I feel like people will perceive it well, but I just never, you know, would have thought it would be like this, if that makes sense. Mm. Is, is that the main, is that one of the main reasons you feel like you got the support you did? Is the representation is a huge, is it as big of a driving force for this game than, than you guys had thought possible? Mm. Cause I mean, it's interesting that like you, you, you did focus on that when you were describing the game and what you wanted to see different in the genre. Right. One of the things was the art style and the representation and you wanted to see yourselves in the game and you're telling, you're saying that people are writing you notes and, and you know, saying, Oh, it's great to see m myself in the game. It seems like like that was a, a, that struck a chord with a lot of people. Um, I mean, that, that's gotta be, that's gotta be pretty, pretty. I mean, I would never, I would never make something with the, with like one or two small changes in mind and it blow up and, and expect it to blow up that much and, and strike a chord with so many people. Um, what was it about that? What was it about the representation and making sure that's in the game that you think is resonating with people? <clears throat> okay, I think I will try to answer this question. Um, sure. A uh, uh, big thing that I noticed, at, at least now, kind of like looking back, like I didn't know it then, but a lot, lot of people say, oh, it, it's, it's, uh, there's so many people of color, you know, 
um, there's very diverse, you know. Um, but when we go us and do this, I think we subconsciously just made factors that we can see around us because we're mm. in the media. Mm-hmm. So like, um, like we think it's diverse, you know, but but not perceived that much as being super diverse because words around us are like this, you know, like like there's a lot of people of color because right. yeah. To mm-hmm. us, it seems diverse, but to you, it's like yeah. it's just. It's just our people in this game. Yeah, yeah especially like like two, like two of us grew up, you know, in Bali, right? Which mm. is just like a melting pot of cultures. And um, uh, and I think to answer your question is like I think the initial pull was was like you know like people feeling represented. I, I think yes, mm. like initially in the Kickstarter, that's really what pulled people in. But first and foremost. Um, I think it was also the stretch goals that really helped propel us because, um, like, like obviously, like, like with representation, um, what was the pull? But um, you know, there were a lot of features that that we wanted to see get added into a farm sim game mm-hmm. that I think other people also wanted to see get added into a farm sim. Sure. Game, you know, like seasonal outfits like having the kids grow up and mm-hmm. and it just kind of escalated and, and actually one of the biggest pulls was like this merfolk you know now merfolk kingdom right it was like mm. we, we we sent a survey out and i think people uh people must really just like merfolks you know so yeah that, that's definitely been a big drive mm. yeah and the game looks dope as shit too i'm not gonna lie like <laughs> You know, when I first saw this on uh, Kickstarter, one of our listeners actually brought it to my attention a few weeks ago, and I was like, "This just looks incredible, and it's gonna destroy all of my free time." Uh, but I keep coming back to the main pitch of this is a reimagined farm sim. Now you touched on a few things about because as fans of the genre, yet it was lacking in so many ways that you were like, "Fuck it, we'll do it ourselves." What, what, what did you think was lacking in a traditional farm sim game that this game is going to highlight to make it feel different and special from most farm sim games out there? You know, maybe the way we we would phrase it is more that um, um, what Harvest Moon and what Stardew Valley did. Um, mm-hmm. Maybe maybe it wasn't lacking so much as mm-hmm. to like okay, they, they they have this pool of ingredients right, mm-hmm. and, and they've mm-hmm. mixed it together. It's like having a, a two cooks cook the same thing, and it mm-hmm. ended up and and um it ended up tasting different, right? So mm-hmm. so so one component was okay, we're gonna mix in our own spices to to kind of mm-hmm. make the same dish, but um, we also want to add our own flair to it, you know so. Um, I, I, I think I think for us specifically, it was diving. You know, we we think there's such a cool opportunity to to explore underwater, um, which, which hasn't been done in a farming game, is um, that 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 we can recall anyway. I, I think that would be a, a, a big component for us. Can you farm underwater? <laughs> <laughs> Cause that's like yeah. some next, that's like some next level shit, right? Ah oh, man, the seaweed, <laughs> seaweeds, the you yeah. know, the Pla- plankton, you know, plankton, and, uh, absolutely, right? mm-hmm. absolutely. Well, 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 maybe the question should be: Do you guys think we should be able to farm on water? <laughs> <sighs> man, Ooh. you know, it's loaded. It's loaded, Jeremy. It is uh, because do you want to take away from the coral? Do you want to take away from the coral? I, the I ecosystem wanna, of the I, coral? I want to say yes and set your dev time back. Two years, so... Uh, either way, you're quitting your job in I'm 18 months. Gonna, I was going to say no. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> so, you, you, did, you did mention the whole environmental thing. Like, that, that seemed to be another uh, sticking point to you. In what ways do you tackle that, especially um, in your planning right now? Like, what, what can you tell us about that aspect of Coral Island? Uh, oh, sure, yeah, I guess. But you want to take it, Tom? Yeah, sure. Um, the environment aspect is that uh, we tie the, uh, the, we have this cleanliness uh, factor of the town that can increase the 
as you go deeper in the diving uh, levels. And in the, the diving levels, one of the, the ways to uh, progress is you have to clean trash. Mm. And the more you clean trash, um, you clear the level and, and progress. And the deeper you progress, like the more you clean trash, the cleaner the town. And uh, it will unlock a lot of mechanics. Like we tie that up to crop quality mechanics, for example. Like if you play Stardew or Harvest Moon, you know the, the, the fastest way to make money, there's only one way, that is efficiency. Uh, mm -hmm. that is to make better tools and you can uh, make more crops right? and by introducing diving uh, and tied up with the, the cleaning mechanic now you have another option that is uh, to clean diving and which then allow you to upgrade your seed quality and uh, that sells more so so player we, we want player to balance between should i farm faster or should i increase the prices of my crops mm -hmm. and, and that is one of the um, from the town side, we, we do have a town, town progression are locked to the this cleanliness uh, values. Very nice. Mm -hmm. And, and then, uh, may I just add something? Or absolutely, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Did you want to go, Ayani, or should I? <laughs> I sure. Um, so to top of what someone said, well, we're kind of hoping as well that you know this environmental awareness thing doesn't just stop in the game, right? Mm -hmm. So that's why, yeah, we want to put it in a subtle way to kind of, um, I don't want to say educate, but mm -hmm. uh, to, you know, once you see it and then it becomes a thing that you just do, hopefully it becomes a second nature for the player. And then maybe, you know, we can see a little bit of impact there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so sorry, you're... I just want to add as well. Go ahead. Sorry. No, 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 go ahead. Because to answer your question about... Um, uh, so, um, right now in the real world, um, there are scientists um, looking at uh, how can we, you know, make corals more resistant to rising ocean temperatures. Mm -hmm. Right. And, and the way that we've incorporated, you know, the, the environmental awareness is, is very tied to that. So, you know, that is going to be a, a big quest line in the game is that you, the player, will, you know, help scientists figure out like, OK, hey, these are the corals that you guys should breed that will be, you know, like more resistant to rising ocean temperatures. So, so mm -hmm. to answer your question, that's that's the literal way that 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 we're incorporating environmental awareness. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, and and to speak on Ayuni's point, it's it's mm -hmm. sort of like it, like when 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 I ha I have a five year old and a three year old, and and when we do something that's that's in the make believe world, or we talk about something, uh, they 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 can associate that with real world stuff. Um, you know, with the whole mask wearing thing, um, when they see, you know, when we explain to them, they don't really understand. They know there's a germ, right? They, they, it's a pandemic. They know there's a germ. So they put their mask on, but now they're starting to see commercials, TV shows with people with masks on them. And it almost normalizes it a little bit. And then when they go outside, they see a person wearing their mask incorrectly down, down, you know, in the middle of their mouth. And they'll say that my uh, daddy, that man's not wearing his mask the right way. And that's kind of like your a subtle way of in the same way that you could do with this game is like, yeah, you see trash, pick it up. The oceans are important. Don't throw your bottle in the ocean. Like, yeah, it might be fun to try and send a message to the merfolk, but like, no, because it's causing problems. And like you could really get through to somebody because they, they it, all it takes is thinking twice about something. And you've already made progress in, in that in that person who would otherwise just crumple up the or flick the cigarette butt in the ocean and just, you know, while, you know, while they're walking on the on the pier or something like that. So that that, that is to again, Ayuni, I, th I think that's that's spot on. It's it's not necessarily hand holding or teaching. It's it's more of just putting something in there in the back of a per of a player's mind so that when they do go out into like the real world, they do make some better choices because they're just training themselves slowly over time to recognize good behavior versus bad behavior. Would that be accurate? Exactly. Yeah, like the positive feedback thing, right? Mm -hmm. And if we go to the beach, for instance, just 
taking out your trash with you, just little things like that, that will really have actual impact, mm. right, in the world. So uh, that's definitely, you know, uh, something that I hope to see um, this game brings. I think people also respond more to subtlety than it being just like shoved down their throats. <laughs> like, mm -hmm. you know, it reminds me back when I used to play Mario Sunshine, you know, I would go and just hose random buildings up with, with, with some with some water and just, you know, just to get all the dirt off. You know, I didn't have to say, hey, go clean some shit. No, nah, I could just yeah. go out there and, uh, and learn from playing the game and, and do it myself. But yeah, I, I, I like how there's no like... There's, a, there's like an agenda like to teach people like, you know, you must, you know, go green or be good about the environment, but just showing how it can affect something like the coral. Like I see a screenshot now that has like it's a seafloor with just garbage in it and it's breaking my heart and there's no text or anything. It just shows a picture of it and that it speaks volumes of what's happening on the ocean floor and mm -hmm. teach it in a very subtle way can go miles in changing our behavior. Mm -hmm. Great. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. From, from, from a, a production, like a producer standpoint, like when you, when you're sort of put pulling these pieces together, um, especially when you're hiring or outsourcing or whatever, um, is this a message that you want to let all the people understand, or is it something that's kind of unspoken that, just through actions or through example, you're just seeing this vision kind of come together. Mm -hmm. I think when, uh, from a producer standpoint, uh, we're, well, we're, well, I'm more concerned with schedules and making sure we sure. have enough uh, people and, and getting things done. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, we, we and right now we we don't like constantly communicate about this. Uh, mm -hmm. Like when we discuss it with the team, it was okay, guys. Diving level, uh, you know, um, how many people needed to make the asset, what features needed. You know, it's it's not really we're kind of pushing the message uh, to the team all the time, and I don't think it's necessary as well, right? Because they, I want them to have that singular focus, you know, like completing features. Make the thing. I got it. Make make the thing. <laughs> make the thing, yeah. We'll worry about what the thing is later. Just make the thing. Here it is, and we'll, we'll figure out all the flavor of it later. Um, what about from from the you know a creative director standpoint? Like when you're when you're looking at it, and do you have to kind of nail that message home with somebody that maybe just isn't getting it from a gameplay perspective or from you know has that been because you you know not everybody really cares about the environment. It's sad to say, but a lot of people don't like, they just, whatever it's out of sight, out of mind. Have you had those types of types of issues with the team or has it been something that you've had to kind of, or is it just, we get it, we're making the thing. Uh -huh. So no, actually, you know, I mean, the team is, uh, we're, we're pretty, uh, we're pretty close. Uh, we, we speak every day. So I think we all are kind of on the same boat. Mm -hmm. um yeah so you're right not everybody's gonna be gung-ho about you know environmental awareness but um nobody's really like oh you know this isn't gonna make any nobody's being negative about it okay if that makes sense yeah okay yeah so um yeah we're all kind of see the same vision in a way and yeah that's i think that's really important you know for our team mm -hmm. Mm. Uh, what drugs are the chickens on in this game? <laughs> because <laughs> I, I'm looking at, you know, the various uh, wildlife in this game, the pigs, the cows, the llamas, the goats, the sheep, the luwak, and the quail, and the peafowl. But the chicken has, like, the most bugged out eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen a chicken in real life, Andy? They're terrifying. I, I, I have, but this is like, I want what that chicken's on. That chicken looks very happy right now with its life. Looks like he's having a good time, man. Yeah. In he's a... <laughs> and is And the chicken a metaphor for how he will feel whilst playing Coral <laughs> Island? Just high all the time, high on life. Just exactly, being awesome yeah. and 
<laughs> you know, I do want to touch on that because there's actually you can have pets in this game as well. Mm-hmm. Like aside from cats and dogs, like <clears throat> like foxes and shit. <laughs> what? How, how do the pets add to the overall experience in in Coral? What do they do for you on a day to day basis? Wow, look at that. That was a long pause. Holy crap. <laughs> yeah, it was a long pause. It's like, oh, such a deep question. The pets, <laughs> such an integral part to the gameplay. <laughs> <laughs> to circle back on that one. Um, you can, you can, you know, you can just, um, interact with a pet. Mm-hmm. The pet's going to be on the farm, and we're going to have a festival that you can join with your pet. Um, oh, my God. Yeah. So good. <laughs> Can I get outfits for the pet? Can I dress it up like a maniac? Like I do to my own dog in real life? He has like 10 outfits. Just oh, for one day so alone. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. so I'm looking at your romanceable characters. Um, and it, it's quite quite a list. Quite a list. Steven, um, let me tell you right now. Which what? one is it? Who is he? I could I could tell you who's gonna break my heart. I could tell you right now. Oh, I'm, who, not, I, I'm going after. I could tell either, already. I'm going after either Theo or Surya. That's fair. Yeah. That's fair. Um, I think Leah might be just the like. She, she seems like she's gonna be very high maintenance. Like she's gonna want me to do a lot of quests for her, and I feel like a lot of them are gonna revolve around lilies and roses and like flower stuff for some reason. Mm-hmm. Um, but. Alice is like the girl next door. Right, actually reminds me of my wife a little bit, uh, mm-hmm. except my my wife's a brunette. So I think Alice might be might be my my romanceable option here. You know, it depends. She, you know, listen. She maybe she likes ladies. I don't know. I don't Steven, know. Stephen. Yes. Doesn't Sam look like Stephen Urkel from Family Matters a little bit? Where's Sam? The townies. Townies, scroll got down it. to the scrolling, townies. scrolling, yes, scrolling. He's in the first, you know, he has a yes. little bow tie. Yes, absolutely, absolutely. But but he, <laughs> you are not the first person to mention that. Right, right, but he looks like you know what he looks like. He looks like Urkel, but after he transforms, but he didn't change his clothes. So he's, he's Stefan Urkel. Stefan Urkel. Yeah, yeah, he's getting there. Yeah, he's getting the there. glasses just came off. He's getting the, there. The, the cool serum hit him. Also, if you happen to need a, your muffler swapped, Jocko got you got you covered. Or is it Jaco? Jaco, Jaco? I don't know. But oh, he, gosh. Uh, he's got you, you covered. That, uh, Joko. Oh, there's that's Joko. an O. Okay, all right. I'm, I, it could just be my contrast. It could just be my contrast. Oh, there it is. There's a, it's an O. You're right. I zoomed in. It's an O. Um, also, why is Jim the worst piano teacher ever? Like, you could just tell. He is just the worst piano teacher. He is hitting kids' knuckles with a ruler. He's just not. He's not friendly. I don't like him. I don't like him at all. Um, what would it take to get in the game? That that's my question. How do I become Disneyfied and oh, be boy. like the town wino or something? Can I be a homeless person on the island? Oh my god, it could be a pair of drunkards. <laughs> we're, we're, we're the ones throwing the tires in the ocean. We're, yeah, we're we're the, we're the we're the bulk and skull of we're of the boss. island. We're we're a boss fight, Stephen. <laughs> <laughs> we're the anti Captain Planet. That's. We're, we're, we're sludge yes sludge and muck that's who we Listen, are every good story is a good villain and you it's and true. i would be it's just true so good at being assholes in this game so can we can we talk a little bit about the longevity of the game like is this one of those things like uh it could go on forever is there an end game here do you plan uh on supporting the game after you know whatever main story you have you know planned out or the i mean th- these games seem to live on forever but like what's your what's your plan at least from what you can tell our listeners so do you want to answer that sure um the original plan is that to support it three years of content updates um, after wow. we release. Uh, right now, since we passed the milestones uh, for island hopping, which is the last one, mm-hmm. we definitely will have to deliver on that one. So yeah, that's uh, that's kind of the goal here. Yeah. Um, mm, yeah. So like for, the, 
I'm reading it what? now just so like, like our listeners know what island hopping is. This is you unlock a new biome to explore around Coral Island. You slowly build a ship and travel to different islands for even more stories. So it looks like you're going to you're not only just giving us some place to explore and maybe um, farm in or find resources in or, or, you know, maybe other characters to either, you know, just interact with me. But you're actually going to create stories on these on these islands that you're going to be able to hop hop to. Mm. Okay. Yes. <laughs> I can't no. go into more detail. No, no, that that that's fine. Are, are you are, are you planning? Do you guys have like a finite amount of islands? Is it just like you're just going to keep adding them as you go along, or is this something like I ima- I imagine that you didn't make these stretch goals without having any sort of implementation in mind, right? So, you know, obviously you know what you can and can't do. So. The, obviously you're saying island hopping there's gonna be multiple islands that's fine you know all that stuff do you have like a number in mind that you absolutely want to hit on this or is it just kind of we'll see where development takes us so maybe i can answer that question here. sure um yeah so i mean just to be candid uh we blasted through like our first set of stretch goals right and yeah. then we had to add you know a second set of stretch goals and so Island hopping was this idea that was it's like so far removed, you know, right. like, Hey, you know, it would be cool if we did island hopping. So, I mean, internally we had only spoken, like it was really surface level. Um, and so, um, our plan, uh, in terms of tackling island hopping would be to involve the community. Mm. And, oh, uh, okay. Interesting. It, yeah. So, so as we get closer to the 1.0 release, We'll be like, hey guys, a community, um, we have bandwidth for for this much content, right? And you know, what what would you like to see? You know, maybe the development team has like, okay, we really want this idea, so this is definitely going to make it in, and we'll see what the community comes up with because uh, our community is is just super super great, and I'm sure they'll come up with with a lot of cool ideas that we can implement for sure. Mm. Steve, I take it back. I scroll down to like where oh. the gods oh, God. the flowers are. Oh, the here we go. Yep. There's there like this is. like sexy ass mer guy. That's oh, making okay. Me question okay. My, my life right now. Making you question your life. Let me. I'm gonna continue scrolling. He's, he is like looking into my soul right I'll now. I tell you what, that swordfish is looking mighty delicious right now. Right. <laughs> <laughs> oh my look at these the core oh yeah i could see i could see where I'm you're getting get, that I'm from i'm getting some like zelda vibes too with this whole like the coral three goddess of flowers this oh yeah like, now, oh. It's got, not, now it's got lore holy the shit kingdom of giants <laughs> i know oh my goodness he's, he's, he's all like how's it brother and you're all like yo what's up oh, you, well, you know how it is <laughs> I mean, I'm this. Not look, sure where, I'm, I'm not sure where it goes, but I don't give. A it's shit. here. It's here. No, this is absolutely gorgeous, folks. If you haven't checked this out yet, if you're if you're just listening to this episode and you don't know what the hell we're talking about, go to the Kickstarter because it's. I mean, the it's stuff, the stuff you guys had prepared for this Kickstarter. No wonder why it got funded so quick. You look like, I mean. It's gonna launch tomorrow. Yeah, so you have your already. shit together. You know what I mean? Like you, you know what's what's up right here. How, how much longer do we have for this one? Where are we? When does this thing end? I'm confused. <laughs> Why can't I find it? It's 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 it's, it's over, dude. Oh, it's, it's over. Fun. Okay, I see it now. Over. Okay, okay. Over. Damn. All right. Well, <laughs> I guess I'll wish list. You know what I mean? But yeah, you guys got to check this out and wish list this I thing know. on on. Yeah, I I believe me, I know. Um, we know. We know. I mean, goodness, this is absolutely beautiful. Um, so this is th- that brings us to a very very special part of the show, mm-hmm. team. Okay, mm-hmm. this mm-hmm. is everybody's favorite part. Our listeners, um, me, Andy, mm-hmm. um, my cat behind me on the couch. Uh, they all, we all love this part. And it's, of course, rapid fire. This is where we are going to get to know you. That's right. Actually, you're over here. There you go. Uh, we're going to get to know you. So we're going to ask you some off-the-cuff questions. And we want just your random answers. Just let you know, hit us up with some answers. And here's how we're going to do it. We're going to go Soma Ayuni. And Jeremy, that's how we're going to go through this. So when we ask a question, you go, boom, in that order. Okay. I think that's just the easiest way. Mm-hmm. Let's do it. All right. Mm-hmm. First question. Which, pa- which power would you rather have? Invisibility or flight? What? 
Definitely invisibility. Invisibility. Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Why for me? Mm-hmm. I think it's definitely a lot of money. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Same. I, I would flight flight all day every day. Mm-hmm. You can fly already though. <laughs> mm-hmm. And it's good for the environment. Oh well, there you go. This is true. This is very true. <laughs> there you go. Uh, I'm gonna change things up because I'm an asshole. Uh, oh, here we go. <laughs> Brace yourselves, team. No, no, no. Don't worry. Don't worry. It's, it's gonna be fun. I promise. Okay. Soma and Ayuni. Okay. What word best describes Jeremy when he's been drinking too much? Oh. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, when he's been speaking too much. Or drinking, what? drinking, or having a drinking too much. Yeah. When he's like, oh my god, I'll be all this cash on hand now. We're millionaires. Gonna be buying these yachts. <laughs> this game's gonna be a hit. And he's hitting the sauce pretty hard, and he's he can't stop. He's just that happy. <laughs> and then, like, man, Jeremy, he's being this way. <laughs> what way? How is he? One word to describe him when he's taking loud. the happy juice. For me, it would be loud. Loud. Okay. Loud. Okay. Yeah. I can see that. <laughs> Don't believe her lies. <laughs> <laughs> She's a fraud. <laughs> I mean, I mean, this is this is not even uh, him drinking. This is just his normal day to day stuff. So is it loud? Is louder? Yeah. Is the word oh, louder? Boundary <laughs> pushing. Yeah. I'm, I'm just, holding back right now. <laughs> it's just boundary pushing. Okay, like like our, our our daily meeting is like, hey guys, got an idea, and then I'm like, wait 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 what? You know? oh, <laughs> hold on, hold on, you know. So, like, take it down like five decibels. <laughs> <laughs> this this might be a tough question to ask or to answer quickly, but I want mm. you to give just right off the top of your head the first one that comes to mind. What is the video game that you played that made you fall in love with video gaming? Mm. Wow, that's so loaded. Mm. This is pretty easy. For me, oh. it's Final Fantasy VII. Oh, my God. Well, I mean, tough. the original and, and the latest. Right, right, right. Final Fantasy VII. I was, I was so into the subreddit in uh, Universe 2 and the whole fan it's a great answer. Crazy. It's a very good answer. Ayuni? It's a good answer. Back to nature, Harvest Moon for me. Mm. Har- Harvest Moon, indeed. Harvest Moon, yes. I would say uh, Pokemon Yellow. Oh, good that's one. a good one. Good that's one. a really good one. Yeah. yeah. That game broke my heart. That <laughs> game almost oh. taught me to hate video games because... <laughs> You know, I lost my game save after 200 hours, but whatever. oh no, <laughs> oh, the heartbreak, the heartbreak. Um, pineapple on pizza, yes or no? Soma, you first. Hmm. Yes, <laughs> yes. Why not? Mm-hmm. Don't discriminate. Yes, yes. It's yeah. actually good. <laughs> it tastes good. It's kind of sweet and sure, sure. I didn't ask for a thesis, Jeremy. <laughs> Jeremy, Jeremy, I see, I see your, 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 there's a burning response you're trying to get out. What is it? Is it a hard for no? All, for all my good people on the internet, I can uh, say proudly, <laughs> hells to the no. There it is. Oh wow. There it is. Wow. Jeez. There it is. There it is. Well, all right. It's it's the only answer, Stephen. It's, it's here. Like here's a good me. one. Here's a good one. <laughs> This, this, <laughs> all right. Each one of your phone rings. Okay. Mm. One of the three of you is in jail. Mm. Who is it and what is it for? Uh, okay. there we go. <laughs> Soma, who, who is in jail and what is it for? <laughs> oh i like this one this might have to be a a permanent fixture on the show this is a good one with this is more than one. one guest yeah i like this i like this this is very dark <laughs> we like it dark go dark <laughs> mm. <laughs> Maybe Ayuni can go. Or Ayuni. Ayuni, okay. Ayuni, you go first. You go yeah. first, Ayuni. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Well, who's going to be in jail between these two? 
I feel like they both can be in jail. Oh, <laughs> wow. Me, um, being loud, too loud, maybe in the club or something. Oh, disturbing the peace. Mm. Yes. Mm. Someone's yes. been drinking again. I see. I see. <laughs> <laughs> or existing. Existing, yes. apparently. <laughs> Jeremy, who, who's your phone rings? Who's in jail oh. and what's it for? You know, the honest answer would be I would be, I think I would be the one in jail. <laughs> I'd be calling, I'd probably be calling myself, and, and you'd probably know why I'd be calling myself. It's a show. Like, I can't Future me. That. Future me, get help. Yeah, exactly. I'd be like, get me out of here, man. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Mm -hmm. I think since I asked uh, Soma and Ayuni a question about Jeremy, I'm going to ask one to Jeremy about the other two. So, Jer so Jeremy, Soma and Ayuni call you separately. Mm. They've each killed someone. Oh, boy. <laughs> Damn, bro. To, to which one do you say, oh, my God, we got to call the police. Like, what have you done? You know, we can't. We got to go and take care of this now. And which one do you say, I'll grab the shovel and I'll be there in 10 minutes? <laughs> well, well, this is an easy question. <laughs> this is an easy question because um, <laughs> I, I would I would tell Soma, you know, we need to call the police. Uh -huh. And then I would grab my shovel uh, for <laughs> Iuni because we're actually married. So, oh, oh well, <laughs> you know, okay. I throw that in oh, at the very this is, end. This is like <laughs> the <laughs> plot <laughs> thickens. Is that, is that a mic drop what a, moment? What a that twist. is <laughs> the, the plot thickens, ladies oh, and gentlemen. Well, boy. now we have that a new dynamic. See, now I really wish you would have gotten the shovel for Soma and put your wife in jail. <laughs> Much better twist. <laughs> but now but now we have some some cannon fodder for this uh for I the for the rapid rock. fire. <laughs> <laughs> That's the twist. Oh, I love I'm it. Sail into the sunset with Soma. <laughs> so so Jeremy, since you are you, you know, you're 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 betrothed, you're you're married, you you are you have a significant other. Why are you putting so many romance options in this game, man? What's going on? What you trying to live out some mermaid fantasies? What's happening over here? <laughs> oh gosh, you know, I, th I think it's probably all of the above. Fair, I mean, like, that's like, fair. Real talk. Ariel was my biggest crush. Oh, I mean, as a kid. oh yeah. my god, it was like. I, I was all about Little Mermaid. It explains you know, so, so much. I mean, it does explain. Yeah. I, maybe that's also why Ayuni does not have a camera. Maybe Ayuni is a merfolk. Is she a merfolk? And we and we can't reveal it because I, I, can't, I can't say anything about that. That's fair. That's fair. Great secrets. That's fair. <laughs> Andy, go ahead. You handsome devil, you. Yeah, I was about to ask Jeremy if you ever jerked off to Splash before. Oh my God, Andy! Question. Andy, <laughs> Andy, this is this is. This is adults hey, only, the but kind of broke up a bit here. I, I lost good, good. I Have that oh, stricken from the record, find, please. I gotta find, I gotta find a, a cleaner question. Is cereal a soup? Let's go with that one. <laughs> yes. Is cereal a soup? Can I say hell no? Yeah, I mean, uh. I'm. I'm strong on that too. No. Mm, mm. Mm. Cereal is not soup. Mm. Mm. If very you, strong stances. Here. Very strong stances. If you had the ability to go anywhere in space, mm. just you can go anywhere at any time. Fuel is not a problem. Physics is not a problem. Science agrees with you. You can go. You're like Superman. Okay. You could just go to space wherever you want or go to anywhere in the ocean. Mm. Where would you want to go? Would you rather go to space, unexplored space, or unexplored ocean? Hmm. I will be going to space. Yeah. Mm -hmm. For me, it's, mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. it's actually a lifelong dream, right? And mm -hmm. it, it might happen. Jeff yeah, yeah, Bezos okay. is doing it now, right? Like, space travel is probably 30 years from now, I guess. Like, get, you on that, get you on that space force, Soma. It's the next step. Yeah, hell yeah. Space force. Oh, oh my god, that show is funny. <laughs> <laughs> so fun. Ayuni, where are you going? I think I'd, I'd, I'd probably be going underwater. Yeah. I don't know. It's so pretty down there. It'd be nice 
uh, to explore without having to worry about anything. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, because I feel like the ocean, aside from the crushing weight of the ocean, like, it's just terrifying down there. We but if you don't have to worry about them. it, yeah, if you don't have to worry, like space, at least, you know, oh, there's going to be, you know, a planet somewhere, but like, or like, I don't know, whatever, but you'll be fine. But the ocean is like, there are stuff on earth that is here that we do not know about. Like exactly. earth, the Kraken, the we've Kraken lived here. Real. We've lived here a long time and we don't know what's happening down there. And that's scary. Jeremy, what about you? Yeah. I would say space. Only because visibility gets gets pretty bad, you know. Like, uh, science figured it out. Science figured it out. You're good. You're fine down there. Yeah. Science, I still say space. It's, it's, okay. it's not blurry. Okay. Or, yeah. No, it's not blurry. Your <laughs> eyeballs are are great. They're like basically you're an angler fish. You know what I mean? But yeah. where's the angle? Where's the angle hanging from? You never know. You never know. Yeah. Things things might have just gotten dirty again, Andy. Next question. I love when things get dirty. I know you, you had do. The power, if you had the power. To shrink anything and take it with you, what would that thing be? Hmm. <clears throat> Don't say space. The moon. Mm. <laughs> then we're all crushed by can the moon. Can you shrink it back or no? Yeah, yes, you can. Yeah, you could shrink it, take yeah. it. It's like yeah. a, like Ant Man. It's just, it's just, you got you got a right, ray it's gun. A, it's a one. Yeah. It's only works on one thing. You pick the one thing, and you can oh. shrink it and de shrink it at will. What is that one thing you're gonna pick? That is, and, and no harm to the person. No, of course not. No, 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 no. no, no, no. Okay, very okay. easy actually. I'll shrink my kids. Okay. <laughs> cry so loud. <laughs> <laughs> and just you know, get a little, 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 little turtle like oh, little turtle off. enclosure. Throw them, throw them in there. <laughs> you know, right. the bottom bottom are like lower. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta find them afterwards, Soma. <laughs> like a microscopic. Yeah, I mean, it's dangerous. <laughs> Keep the house cat away. Very important. Right. right. Ayuni, what are you shrinking down and taking with you? Uh, you know, I never really thought about anything like that. Um, I mean, I read when I'm bored, so probably just Kindle. Uh, okay. Yeah, I, yeah, I got nothing. Just get like a little a Kindle, make it postage stamp size, and just be like, I could take this anywhere. TSA mm -hmm. ain't gonna but find this. An entire um, library, just have it in your pocket. Right. Yeah, you could shrink the the New York Public Library. Right. Just be like, pew, yeah. the whole thing. <laughs> And you just be like, I have any book I want. But when you when you make that big again, it's gonna be very difficult. It's gonna be in a field or something like that. Yeah, you gotta have that in like a yeah, like a large field, P perhaps somewhere in space. But you're going in the ocean, so you're ruining your library. You understand oh, those that, books right? Books are ruined. Those poor books are destroyed. <laughs> Jeremy, what about you? What are you shrinking down? Well, I you know, this I is a question you say your that wife. I think about all the time in my spare time. You know? I'm sure you right. do. I'm sure right. You do. No, I, I have thought about it. I would shrink. You guys know those those uh, containers that have been refurbished into homes? Sure, okay. sure, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, so, so I would I would shrink one of those things, and I would like it, it would allow me to travel the world at ease and still bring my little house and pop it, you know, like shrink it. That's a good idea. Wow, look at you. That's yeah, a very good a idea. A lot of thought. A lot of things, thought. Yeah, going into that. I, I have very things nice. to keep you up at night, Jeremy. That's right. <laughs> You don't need a foundation for that. Like you're, it's good. You just be like, oh man, I'm tired. Boop, boom, right there. You're good. You're good. There's that, like a Venn diagram. It says like merfucking and like plastic houses, and it's like Jeremy in the middle. Right. That's how that. Right. That's how that works. Right. Mermaid <laughs> fantasies and storage <laughs> container houses. Right. Stop, right. stop entering my head, please. Yeah, we're, we'll, we're <laughs> trust me. Too we late. need we need to get out of there because it is dark up there. It's <laughs> it's a little twisted. Darkest space. You could clear your browser history, but you can't clear up here. That's very scary. No, you can't. <laughs> Andy, uh, let's let's get one more question. Oh no, that was me. It's me. Yeah, it's you, it's you, I'll do mine, you. and then you you'll do the final question. Okay. Okay. Uh, uh, the, question. the final question. Yeah. This is too good. It's too good of a show, Steven. It's you a great show. It's a great show. Here. I understand. I understand. I like all these people so much. I don't want it to end. <laughs> With this in mind, you are guaranteed to win. Okay? You're guaranteed to win what I'm about to tell you. Who is the one who is the one person on earth in any time period ever 
that you can get into a one-on-one fisticuff with and you're guaranteed to win that fisticuff, who is that person? Hmm. I think I broke Jeremy. I think he's I think he broke. I think he I think, I think he's uh dot exe crashed jeremy that exe has failed yeah <laughs> am i that easy to read <laughs> Jer- jeremy didn't know whether well, I, to go just, current I, I, or I just, like, I just think, the, like the hitler route like he was really yeah. focused right there for yeah, a second he's got a full-blown kill list like you know <laughs> you know on the post-it note on the monitor hanging out <laughs> Oh, geez. Oh, well, I guess I'm adding Andy to that list. Even uh, this podcast can go kill Walt itself. Walt Disney. <laughs> um, Ayuni, I want to start with you on this one. Yeah, yeah. You know her. Um, Who's asked you want to kick? <laughs> in, a guar- in a guaranteed fight. Guaranteed win. <laughs> it's guaranteed I, win. I think it would have been my brother. My big brother. Wow. wow. That, see, that's deep. That's a deep answer. We, Yo. A lot of unresolved no. issues. No, oh. no, no, no. It's because he's like really fit and. He's fat um, or fit? Fit, fit. Fit. fit okay. <laughs> you just want to have that victory over him. That's right. That's good. Yeah, I, I mean, I, that that's commendable. Nice. That's commendable. I'm into that. Okay. Soma. Tell me, who are you who are you kicking the crap out of? Like, <laughs> so hard. like let's go, man. Let's you and me, right. bro. A victory doesn't have to be violent, right? No, like, not necessarily. I did say fisticuffs, yeah, though. Right. I did say fisticuffs. Oh, oh okay. Oh, I thought it was um, it was an arm wrestle. No, okay. fisticuffs, <laughs> punching, okay. punching and that. winning. Oh. There will be blood. Okay. There, will, <laughs> well, maybe it depends. Right. For the record, if he's listening, I don't want to beat him up, obviously. Uh, I think I still think you should. I I don't really have anybody. There's got to be someone that pisses you off. I want to kill Stephen five times. I know who who my answer is. I know who my answer is. And I want to punch that pacifist face right off his face. I want to get him real good. I want to get him in a headlock and just just beat him senseless. And that's Mahatma Gandhi. He, I'm coming after you, bro. I'm coming after you, Gandhi. You keep launching nukes at me in Civ 6 and I'm tired of it, bro. I'm tired of it, Gandhi. I'm tired of your shit. I'm going to tie you to a fucking bedpost and I'm going to beat you senseless with my fists and my knees. That's what's going to happen, Gandhi. It's, I'm coming for I you, just, bro. I just want someone to be like Jesus. <laughs> I, I almost went there, but I just to see what would happen, but no, nah, I'm going Gandhi. Because you know Betty White. I I'm not oh Betty White. Poor 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 Betty White. She's gonna live to be three hundred, isn't she? She is. Jeremy, who the hell are you fighting? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so seriously, the controversial answer to this, okay. yeah, would be someone like you know, I even feel weird saying that a, cer- yeah, a like certain politician. Person, no, no. Well, you know that. I think it's uh, controversial about that, but go on. <laughs> okay, I mean, uh, I, I can't just choose one. You know, mm. I mean, I, I want to either fight, you know, Jesus out of curiosity. Sure, right. just see what yeah. happens. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. To just see if, I mean, to see if those abs are really all. See if he's a tough guy. Things. Also, yeah, maybe right. see if he's black. You know, that could yeah, really that sure. could really change things. You know, okay. yeah, oh, so, he's a black so guy. Look at that. My curiosity. Sure, sure. Um, uh, you know, you're not uh, killing sure. the guy, right? Like, yeah, yeah, exactly. You're just fighting. Exactly. You're just getting yeah, into a quick guy. little. Yeah, you're getting into a scuffle yeah. behind the bar. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. The second would be uh, Donald Trump. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. That would. Um, yeah, but that seems too easy, though. Like that is a guaranteed win, I would bet. Right. You know. So the old, old, old shin splints. You know. Yeah. Well, and then the third would probably be someone like Achilles. You know, I just kind uh, of nice, like, good choice, mm, good, good choice. Like I, like you want it to be like, so, like I, like like a nice top of the mountain. Like get the toughest dude you can. You know you're gonna yeah, win. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, you're not guaranteed to like not get Hades hurt, though, right? Life, you know? I, I, right. I'd be yeah. playing Hades in real life. Yeah, yeah. Ivan Drago. <laughs> Ivan Drago. <laughs> um, yeah, man, I mean, there's plenty of... That. Like, when you think about it that way, like, hell yeah, give me a Brock Lesnar. Yeah. I'll punch just him the, good. Just for the experience. Like, but the, the thing is, he could, you could still get, like, CTE, you know? Like, you, like these people could still beat you senseless, and but you win. You won. Right. But they beat the shit out of you, too. I mean, I'm okay with that, though. 
If I, as long as I could still chew my food afterward, I'm okay. You're paralyzed from the eyebrows down. From the, <laughs> from the eye, my eyes are just like they're just like yeah. in three different directions. Like unless you can raise them, like for yes is a no. Yes. <laughs> for your you brow, if it's yes. Being able to say that you've done it. What? What? What is We're, that? You're adding one? too many modifiers. You're adding too many okay. modifiers. Okay. But what does he look like? <laughs> Speak. Yeah. What? Did, yeah. What did he come out looking like? Uh, he's paralyzed from his the tops of his ears down. Which one's higher? I don't know. I don't know. Andy, final question. Hit us up. Oh, is this final, final, or my final, final? Oh, God, I don't want it to end. All right, guys. This is the final, final question of the hour. It is the most difficult question of your entire lives. Oh, damn. And I'm going to switch and look right into the camera for this one because it's me too. You got to hear from the from the soul. It's a, it, it, it's a simple question. A baby yeah, also, can answer it. But also the most difficult question mm -hmm. you'll ever answer in your entire lives. Mm -hmm simple choice mm -hmm. it's a binary choice mm -hmm. and that choice is andy or steven <gasps> <gasps> le gasp <laughs> i'm a little unkept though andy i have neck beard. i know but there's three of them so i'm guessing they could look at like a like a tiebreaker thing going there could be there could be we could we, let's see or what happens here it could be a clean sweep we it don't could know. be it could be we don't know it could be this is the joy of this moment the awkwardness of this question. Yes. That I love and burns a hole in my stomach every single week. <laughs> so, hey, I overthink things. Good. Is this just the like, okay, mm -hmm. who, who I would rather hang out with? or You, just, you don't know. We don't know. You don't know. We, okay, so, the, so it's just like, like who, okay, who would you rather, you know, you know take a, a shot in the face? You know, yeah. <laughs> it could be anything. <laughs> yeah. That's the beauty of it. <laughs> Let let your brain run wild on this one. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. Remember the order, guys. It's Soma, Ayuni, then Jeremy last. Correct. Oh, yeah. Correct. You, uh, what a shit. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we we have to honor you know our host here. So mm -hmm. Soma, mm -hmm. you're gonna have to go first. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Um, probably Steven. We're probably Nailed gonna it. be talking about that stuff because okay. I, I have a kid similar ages. There you go. Nailed it. Okay. Nailed right. it. Okay. See, Nailed it. Simple. He said it. Woo. Ayuni, be careful about this one. Andy. Andy. Okay. okay. That, that's a okay. safe one. That see. No, you went, what makes, what, there's nothing safe about there, me, asshole. There, it, there is because because a, as a gay man, Andy, you are the least threatening of the two choices. No, they don't know. I will, I will, I will scratch your eyes out. <laughs> uh, well, you wanted to go last, and now you're the tiebreaker. Mm, mm, and I immediately regret my decision. <laughs> <laughs> this through. How, how did I think this was going to play out? Exactly, exactly. <laughs> And you won $1.7 million it, it, to make it, a video it's, game. It's as if you asked for this, Jeremy. <laughs> <laughs> there are almost, there are like 200 of these shows on the internet. At mm. least, a, what, 70 of them that we do rapid fire in. You mm. would think you knew what you're getting yourself into. Yeah. <laughs> you would think. Yeah. Boy, I hate making decisions like this. Mm -hmm. um, That's why we ask it. That's why we ask it. That's why we ask it. <laughs> Oh God! Did, did I just need to decide? Okay. Um, <laughs> okay. Let me just do some pros and cons real quick. Oh uh -huh. my God! We're getting a whole breakdown here. This is new. Okay. This is good. No, this is no, good. No, 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 no. It's a pros and cons mentally in my mind. In there. Oh, okay. No, this is good. This is good. Okay. Okay. Uh, <laughs> my decision is based off of um, your surrounding environment. Mm -hmm. And I would say, uh, Andy, you have a more interesting surrounding environment. So sorry. <laughs> I'll take it. I understand. A win. I understand. My, and did my... you just go? Did you just go off camera because because <laughs> you're all... reason? Wow. Just... I, I I can't face them anymore. Oh, there it goes. It's back. It's back. Oh no! Off. It's disappeared. No! <laughs> no! Everything's ruined. Still, still, <laughs> still, still, I will take the W. Everything's scattered. <laughs> Come back and put everybody back in their spots. No. Oh, this is going to be so fun for you to edit. Oh, I'm not editing this. This is going up as is. This is great. This is great. It's PC blue screen. He just told me on chat. All right. Blue screen? A blue screen. 
it, listen, I get it. I get it. Here, this. Let me see if he this had, works. No, that didn't work. He had oh, well. just enough time to answer. That's all I appreciate. That's that's, that's I appreciate it too, and I appreciate our guests and the and the egg scramble that is this interview. <laughs> it's okay, guys, because this is what we do. This has been the Dual Screens Podcast. Please, ladies and gentlemen, uh, wish list Coral Island on Steam. All of that fun stuff. We, we're here and and we love you for listening we love our guests thank you so much where could everybody find uh you guys on social media really quickly um i'm on twitter um i'm only on twitter actually at peach cobbler mm-hmm. um yeah soma my twitter handle is soma wisnu s-o-m-a-w-i-s-n-u mm-hmm. beautiful and give us all the what about the game social media handles all that fun stuff yeah where can you find information about the game give us all those deets uh, the, our our twitter handle is coral island game at mm-hmm. coral island game and mm-hmm. let's see facebook is facebook slash stairway dot studio dot game all right and, and he's back there and- he is <laughs> you cannot again. make this up Okay, it's like my brain literally overheated and my computer just blue screened. Your computer sympathized with you. (laughs) Well, we're just getting getting the social medias uh, out out of the way. I have that effect on most men. Don't worry about it. And and computers. (laughs) And computers. You should see his his virus uh, scan. Um, Jeremy, where can everybody find you on the internet? (laughs) Okay, and our Instagram handle is uh, stairway games mm-hmm. stairway got it stairway games. okay very good jeremy where could everybody find you on the on the twitter and the social medias and all that fun stuff gosh i don't really do social media i have a twitter handle um yeah, that right. i don't even know what yeah, the handle yeah. is that's fair you know, i just retweet a lot of our things so apologies Sounds That's all right. It. No worries. Um, <laughs> well, we want to thank you guys for coming on our show. And we, of course, want to thank our Patreon producers. Uh, we have Vegas Girl on Fire, our newest Patreon producer. Thank you so much for doing that. FNH Paul and Colton, the Apprentice Nestler. Again, if you guys want to support the show, go to patreon.com slash NDS podcast. We appreciate it greatly. Andy, this has been thrilling. This has been an awesome episode. I'm very yes, happy with this one. Yes, I have a few parting remarks. Yes, parting thoughts, goodbye. please, before yes. we say goodbye. Yes, I would like to uh, give a shout out to yes. Mrs. Radulf Twelve. Radulf, yep. Or, yes, Rad who, stuff, as I call her. Who, yes, who brought this game to my attention, and uh, I am very, you know, I can't thank her enough because this game looks incredible, and it made this show happen. So, thanks for that. You could follow her and, on Twitch, Twitch.tv/slash Mrs. Radulf. That's M R S R A D U. L F. Yes, I did. And it. Also, I want to say to our guests, thank you for coming on the show for popping that podcast, Cherry. No other podcast you do will be as fun as this one. So sorry to say, it's all downhill all, from here. They're all they're all crap from. But they, but it's kind of like a bunny high. hill though. It's really high. It's a bunny hill. Let's be yeah. serious. <laughs> Uh, thank you Soma thank you Ayuni thank you Jeremy thank you Andy thank you listeners and as always please be excellent to each other